Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back. So just a more casual styled video today. We're going to be going through all of the buffs and nerfs present within Pokemon Scarlet and Violet because if you don't know certain Pokemon have lost certain moves, gained certain moves, had some stat changes, new abilities have, um, or sorry, old abilities have changed. The, the, there's a lot that has happened. A lot of Pokemon have lost access to certain moves. Um, it looks like Stall was nerfed quite a bit. So we're going to be going through this post here on Smogon. I'm going to leave it linked below. Uh, the Dragon Texas Warrior 2001 has us covered with all of this information. And some of it's pretty interesting. Now, I'm not the most uh, competitive person out there. I, I know my way around the metagame a little bit. Uh, especially with it being new, I've, I've messed around in uh, Showdown a little bit. But... Um, I know some of these are pretty messed up. So, first of all, Scald is now the signature move to Volcanion, which has Steam Eruption anyway. Uh, no one else learns Scald. Like, this is huge. Slowbro Alert loses it. Toxapex loses it. Gastron loses it. Everybody who used to use Scald loses it, which I think is, a uh, like, like, that's just nuts. Like, anyone who would stall with Scald has lost it. Major hit to, to stall, right? Because... Scald's just good. Recover, Roost, Slack Off, and all of those um, healing moves, Soft Boiled, etc. They all got their PP reduced from 10 to 5. Um, so in Showdown, when you're gonna, you know, you have PP maxes on, that changes it from uh, 8 max instead of 16. Most of the Gen 8 tutors are gone. That was already known. That happens every gen. It's really annoying. They'll probably be brought back with DLC, which again, isn't cool. Um, who knows, maybe Scald will come back in the form of a move tutor move. I don't think Scald was overpowered, but Aromatherapy and Power Up Punch are gone. So Aromatherapy, not really that big of a deal if you're looking at like Chansey because it gets Heal Bell, but there's a lot of Pokemon that would have, you know, benefited from it. Power Up Punch, I kind of get. Um, <laughs> at least Mega Kangaskhan's not around. Uh, Headlong Rush is now a ground type close combat. That was a move from Legends. Wave Crash is now a water type Flare Blitz slash Wood Hammer. Uh, completing the starter type trio, which is cool. Raging Fury is a fire type outrage. Chloro Blast is now a steel beam slash mind blown clone. Uh, Dire Claw is an 80 uh, power base, uh, sorry, an 80 base power move that has a 46% chance to inflict poison, plus a 16% chance to inflict paralysis, and a 16% chance to inflict uh, sleep. So, you know, that's pretty interesting. Uh, uh, Bleak Wind Storm for Tornadus. Wind Bolt Storm for Thunderous and Sand Seer Storm for Landris have been added. Oh, and there's a Springtide one too. Um, these are 100 base power, 80 accuracy, signature special stab moves that uh, hit both opponents. So, you know, good for doubles. Uh, we also got Trailblaze, which is like a grass type flame charge. Ice Spinner, an 80 base power physical move that removes terrain. Um, Dragonite gets that, which I think is pretty interesting. Axe Kick is like jump kick. Axe Kick's actually a kick in Taekwondo. Um, but with the chance to confuse, it still has a recoil. Last Regrets is a ghost type move that gets stronger uh, 1.5 times, depending on how many team members are dead. So 50 base power by default, it doubles for every death, meaning that if you're the last one standing, you have a 300 base power move. That's pretty cool. Chilling Waters is a 50% base power move that always lowers the attack stat. That's the Scald replacement. So I guess that makes sense. They're trying to nerf Scald because... You know, it's bad enough having your your attack, like your attack stats lower with burn. It's permanent. So even if you switch, unless you heal bell or aromatherapy, like you're, you're just done. You're crippled. I guess that's fair. Uh, Grassy Glide, when it eventually returns, got nerfed from 70 to 60. Fair enough. Uh, Rillaboom, from what I heard, was, uh, you know, wrecking house over at OU last gen. Uh, Sleep and Unfortunately Freeze are here to stay while Frostbite is stuck in Pokemon Legends Arceus. I, I'm That's disappointing. Um, to be honest, Charizard loses Scorching Sand, uh, Defog, and Roost. That's interesting. Wigglytuff gets Nasty Plot. Dugtrio gets Swords Dance, which is awesome. Golduck gets Nasty Plot and Power Gem. The latter should have been done already. Uh, uh, Hisuian Arcanine gets Stab Head Smash. Justified uh, Hidden Ability is replaced with Rock Head, which I guess is you know, that's good for Head Smash, along with Extreme Speed, Close Combat, Psychic Fangs, and Morning Sun. So it's going to be a beast. Slowbro and Slowking lose Teleport. And we already knew about Scald, but they lost Teleport. Muck gets Toxic Spikes and Drain Punch. Uh, Alolan Muck gets Drain Punch too. Gengar lost Sludge Wave, but gets Toxic Spikes. If I'm not mistaken, Sludge Wave was a special event Gengar, because I remember you couldn't even TM at Sludge Wave. 
back in like Gen 6 or whatever, so like that's not a huge deal. Uh, anyone who's using it was probably hacking anyway. Uh, Scyther and Scizor and Cleavor keep close combat from PLA but lose dual wing beat and bug bite. Gyarados lost Power Whip. I didn't even know it got Power Whip. What the heck? All Eevee Lucians get Calm Mind and Trailblaze. Um, that's pretty good. That's, you know, that's pretty cool. Vaporeon loses Toxic and Scald. <laughs> Flareon loses Super Power. The Galarian Birds all get Tail Wing. Uh, Galarian Zapdos lost Blaze Kick. Arcanine loses Defog and Mind Reader. Sorry, not Arcanine, Articuno. Zapdos loses... D Everybody just lost Defog, bro. Dragonite loses Defog, Dual Wing, wing Beat, and uh, Heal Bell. Um, Mew loses Knockoff, Roost, Defog, Toxic, Teleport, and Roar. Uh, Mewtwo gets Earth Power and Power Gem. Hisuian Typhlosion now gets Eruption and Focus Blast. Uh, Frisk is, has been replaced with Flash Fire, which is better. Uh, I mean, Frisk has its uses, I guess, but... Ampharos gets Dazzling Gleam. Uh, Jumpluff gets Tailwind. Uh, Pollen Puff and Dazzling Gleam. Sudowoodle gets Trailblaze and Spikes. <laughs> Does anybody really care, though? <laughs> Quagsire gets Stealth Rock Spikes and Toxic Spikes. So, you know, it loses Scald, but that's okay. Uh, I, I, I'm actually curious if it gets that Chilling Water. Uh, Espeon finally gets Power Gem. Umbreon gets Thunder Wave but loses Toxic. Scizor gets Close Combat but loses Roost, Dual Wing Beat, and Bug Bite. Fortress gets Body Press. That's nice. Blissey lost Toxic, which sucks, by the way. Wish, which, I mean, that was like a Fire Red and Leaf Green event, if I'm not mistaken, so whatever. And Teleport. So Blissey's just been, like, absolutely crippled. Um, toxic Stall Blissey was really good. Not not only did it lose the amount of times it can heal, it also lost its, its, um, its, like, main way of, like, causing that residual damage in the first place. So you could go with, like, a Toxic Spike set if you've already taken out anybody that's a Poison type and all their Defoggers or, or, or Rapid Spinners or whatever, but definitely a huge hit to Blissey. Tyranitar gets Power Gem but loses High Horsepower, Super Power, Roar, and Toxic. Power, who cares about Power Gem on... Tyranitar, it's a special attack anyway. Uh, Pelipper loses Defog and Scald. Gardevoir keeps Aura Sphere from PLA, uh, if you don't like using Focus Mist, but uh, loses Ally Switch as well as Recover and Ice Beam. Uh, Gallade also loses Ally Switch. Masquerade gets Hurricane. Breloom gets Close Combat, yes. Bulldoze, yes. And Gunk Shot. Hariyama gets Drain. I, I'm, I, I think Gunk, Gunk Shot's a physical attack, if I'm not mistaken, so it's pretty damn good for Breloom, man. Hariyama gets Drain Punch and Headlong Rush. Sableye got, uh, gets Giga Drain, Reflect, Light Screen. Metacham gets Axe Kick, Close Combat, and Trailblaze. Grumpig gets Nasty Plot from BDSP. Dazzling Gleam and Earth Power. Swallow gets Stuffed Cheeks, Body Press, Swords Dance, and Toxic Spikes. I like how many Pokemon are getting Body Press. Uh, Body Press, if you don't know, is an attack that does damage based on your defense stat, not your attack stat. Zangoose gets Agility, Banette gets Swords Dance, Tropius gets Hurricane and U-Turn, I'm loving that Tropius love. Groudon gets Heat Crash, but gains, sorry, loses Heat Crash, but gains Crunch, Spikes, Will-O-Wisp, and Body Press. Rayquaza gets U-Turn, Stealth Rock, and Wild Charge, it loses V-Create. Luxray got Trailblaze, Trailblaze but uh, loses Super Power, which I think is a pretty big loss for it. Uh, Vespaquen gets Spikes, Floatzel gets Wave Crash, which is, uh, I, if I'm not mistaken, Wave Crash. I can't remember what Wave Crash does. An Ice Spinner, which removes, um, what do you call it, uh, Terrain. Gastron loses Scald and Toxic, but gets Stealth Rock, Spikes, and Chilling Water. Chilling Water is the, the Scald equivalent. Driftblim uh, lost Mystical Fire, but does get uh, Stab Air Slash. Uh, great for it. Honchcrow loses Super Power. Garchomp gets Spikes and Liquidation, that's interesting, but loses Scale Shot and Roar. Lucario loses Mock Punch. Toxicrow keeps Close Combat. Weavile loses Triple Axle. Triple Axle Weavile was pretty OP, but that's kind of sad. It does get Ice Spinner, I guess, which is okay. And it loses Knock Off, like, come on, boys. Gallade uh, now gets the ability Sharpness, which increases the power of Slashing moves, uh, which it now has access to Night, Night Slash, Shadow Claw, Leaf Blade, and Aqua Cutter. Also now learns agility, pretty cool. The Lake Trio get Mystical Power, uh, 70 power uh, special stab that increases special attack. The Dialga gets Trick and Focus Blast, Palkia gets Trick. Heat Ram gets Power Jump, but loses Toxic and Eruption. Everybody lost Toxic since BDSP, man. Cresselia got a stat nerf uh, from one uh, 
120 um, def defense and 130 special defense to 110 and 120. Arceus now learns Healing Wish, Hydro Pump, Taunt, Imprison, Bulk Up, Dragon Dance, Flare Blitz, Power Gem, Gunk Shot, Heavy Slam, Foul Play, Stored Power, Hex, Hurricane, Body Press, and a Lost Whirlpool. I'm pretty sure it doesn't mind. Um, his Swean Samrod also has Sharpness, replaced Shell Armor, it gets, it gets Knock Off, Sucker Punch, Sacred Sword, Mega Horn, and Drill Run. These guys got buffed, eh? Ceaseless Edge, uh, which is a 65 base power move that lays spikes? That's dope. What? Already has Aqua Jet and Swords Dance. Okay, regular Samurai finally gets Drill Run. Uh, Hisuian Lilligant Victory Dance uh, is now a physical Quiver Dance. Oh, that's cool. Also gets Ice Spinner and Defog. Baskelin, the other form, gets Wave Crash. Um, Crocodile gets High Horsepower and Knock Off. Lost Dark gets Lariat, but gains Gunk Shot. Uh, Hisuian's Rourke got both Special Attack and Speed nerfed by 5 points each. In other words, its stats are now the same as the Unovian version. Uh, it does get Body Slam, Hyper Voice, Focus Blast, and Trick. Saucebuck now gets Body Slam, Zen Headbutt, and Play Rough. Alola Mola loses Scald. Electros gets Stopping ta um, Tantrum, Liquidation, and Close Combat at the cost of Knock Off. Haxorus gets Iron Head. Beartick gets Earthquake and Close Combat. Bisharp loses Knock Off. Screw you, man. <laughs> Braviar. Wait, Bisharp loses it. What about its evolution? Uh, Hisuian Bravery replaces Defiant uh, with Tinted Lens. Esper Wing increases speed. It also gets U-Turn, Roost, and Defog. Hydreigon loses Roost and Defog, but now it learns Stealth Rocks. Volcarona loses Roost and Defog. Gee, oh, it sells Morning Sun. Not a big deal. Uh, the Forces of Nature all lose Superpower, Defog, Toxic, and Knock Off. Whilst Landorus gets na Nasty Plot and Taunt. Wow. Interesting. Chestnut gets Close Combat, Body Press, Super Fang, and Wide Guard. Delphox gets Focus Blast and Nasty Plot. Greninja gets Swords Dance and Liquidation, but too late because Protein Slash Libero got nerfed, so it only works once per switch in. Also, loses Scald Sylveon. Wait, loses Scald. Sylveon loses Mystical Fire. So that's the thing. Greninja's um, ability got nerfed, so Protein used to basically um, like change your type every time. Now that it has Swords Dance, if it decides to Swords Dance boost, it's stuck as a fighting type until it switches again, at which point it would lose its boosts anyway. So Greninja only gets one one protein like boosted, like change type, whatever, per thing. I guess you could terrestrialize it to make it change its type again. So you could still see some use there, but like using Swords Dance and getting that fighting stab isn't really great. I'm mean, sorry, fighting. Um, fighting typing isn't really great because it doesn't really use protein defensively not much anyway unless you're like using spikes against an electric type or something uh both avalugs now have icicle crash dancy gets spikes talon flame actually keeps defog cool uh hisuian decidui gets defog roost close combat trailblaze knockoff sucker punch and shadow sneak triple arrows is now 90 base power and scrappy is its new hidden ability or Corio gets Quiver Dance, Toxapex learns Knock Off, and to oh loses. I thought I was gonna say he gets it. I was gonna be like, they buff Toxapex. Muzdale finally gets Stone Edge. Uh, Lorantis loses Superpower. Salazzle got Toxic Spike. Uh, Serena loses Triple Axle and Knock Off. Palisand loses Scorching Sands. Kamala loses Last Resort. Uh, Bruxish gets uh, Wave Crash, and Magirna gets Spikes. Rillabloom, oh my God, he loses it. They nerfed him. Oh my God. Cinderace gets Swords Dance, but Protein. Uh, Dreadnought gets Shell Smash. It loses uh, High Horsepower, Super Power, and Mega Horn. Colossal gets Power Gem, but loses Scald. I didn't even know he got Scald. That's pretty cool. <laughs> it shows my Gen 8 um, competitive knowledge there. Uh, Barrascuta loses Flip Turn. Toxtricity gets Toxic Spikes. I'm surprised he didn't already have that. Hatterene loses Expanding Force. Grimmsnarl gets Parting Shot, which, hey, give Grimmsnarl that love. Perserker gets Stealth Rocks, uh, NDD loses Expanding Force and Mystical Fire, Zacian got its abilities and stats nerfed, Intrepid Sword only works once per battle, that's more fair to be honest, and its attack got dropped from 130, 170 to 120, 150, so that's a, you know, pretty big nerf. Yeah, pretty big nerf, man. Uh, Zamazenta sadly got the same treatment too, even though it didn't need it. Zamazenta was already trash. Dauntless Shield only works once per battle. Attack dropped from 130 to 120. Its defense has dropped too. It, it oh, it, it, and but but it finally got body press. Eternatus now gets Fire Blast, Uresh Fru, or however you say its name. 
Get Swords Dance, but Wicked Blow is weakened. I mean, in exchange for Swords Dance, I think that's worth it. Uh, Zarud also gets Swords Dance and Trailblaze. It did lose Darkest Lariat and still no knockoff or Sucker Punch. Time to run Crunch now. Reggie Alecki gets Charge Beam. Reggie Draco gets Earthquake and Earth Power. Uh, Glastrier and Calyrex Ice both get high horsepower. Oh, both lose high horsepower. They're on horses, but they can't use it. <laughs> Stop. Uh, Spectrier gets uh, Draining Kiss. Cleavar's Stone Axe uh, now lays Stealth. Yo, that's sick. It lays Stealth Rock after using it, just like that other attack with Spikes. I like that. That's cool. Uh, it gets close combat, as I said, with the other two. U-Turn, Night Slash, and Cycle Cut has the Sharpness ability. Uh, also took five points from its attack and moved it to Special Defense. Uh, your Saluna now learns Facade, Earthquake, Close Combat, Gunk Shot, Play Rough, Crunch, Trailblaze, Taunt, Bulk Up, Swords Dance, Belly Drum, and even Dra Ursaluna's going to be jacked. Uh, Basca Legion replaces Rattled with Swift Swim. Pretty cool. Actually, Swift Swim's great if you're running a rain team. Uh, and gets Last Respects. Uh, Sneasler now has the Unburden ability and now learns Swords Dance, Acrobatics, Rock Slide, Fire Punch, Fake Out, U Turn, and Stab Gunk Shot. Uh, Overquill now learns Crunch, Gunk Shot, Aqua Jet, Liquidation, Waterfall, Swords Dance, Taunt, Spikes, and Toxic Spikes. Enamorous gets Superpower and Focus Blast. <sighs> That's a lot of stuff. There was rumors about get uh, Defiant getting uh, nerfed too, but uh, I was messing around on Showdown. I noticed Defiant's the same, so I don't think Defiant got nerfed. I think that's pretty much everything. Um, we can look in the comments to see if anything else changed. Uh, Roaring Moon Salamance gets Scale Shot. Uh, Rillaboom. Yeah, it's just, it's just people talking about different stuff. So what do you guys think? If you guys are more competitively inclined, definitely let, let me know what you guys think down below. I think a lot of these changes are definitely... Um, them trying to answer the whole like stalling issue uh, especially with the 20 minute battle timers i feel like stalling like has become more of a viable tactic like timer stalling I, I i mean a good way to stop that would just be to remove those but they definitely are trying to make the game more offensive and battles to be quicker by the looks of it less pp on healing moves a lot of pokemon lost toxic a lot of pokemon lost a lot of defensive utility so i think that's kind of what they were going for they want the game to be a little more um offensively driven i guess but yeah let me know what you guys think a anything in particular that you think is cool that you don't like etc let me know and uh if you are a fan of pokemon or monster taming games like it definitely subscribe to my channel because i put out new videos every single day check out my twitter my discord and my patreon linked below special thanks to the patrons especially jim hamilton Drow, ghost dark persona and exodus and uh yeah let me know if you guys like this more casual styled video anyways peace